Welcome everyone to another exciting episode of the Super Carlin Gaming Pokemon Soul Silver Randomizer Nuzlocke Challenge, where in today's episode, I believe we are going to try and take on our final Kanto gym leader, Blue. But first, we are uh, in the Seafoam Islands here, right? And so when I came in here, I went straight uh, up to Blaine, but we can actually go down here and just get a quick catch. Hopefully, we'll see. What could it be? It's Mantike. That's only all right. That's only all right. Let's be right. Mantike. Okay, fine, fine, fine. We'll give it a catch key. Maybe we'll get the quick ball. One. Oh, nothing. Take down. I don't know what the big deal with Mantike is. Like, I think you can't catch them. You can only breed them, right? I don't know. Well, obviously, we're catching one right now. But in typical play, guys, let's see. Um, let's go for a U-turn here. I don't think this will kill it. Yeah, I didn't think so. And now we can just sort of wall it off here. We'll bring out Kimberly just to, you know, I'm not really that concerned. Uh, let's go ahead and go Pokeball. Let's see, do we have a dive ball? Oh, we don't. That's a bummer. But we are in a cave, so we should be able to Dusk Ball it okay. Bop -ba -dum. Oh, what? Is that a joke? All right, let's go Ultra Ball, maybe? What's going on with this thing? It's so weak, it's in a cave. That's what I thought. Get in the ball, Mantike. All right, we need a name for the Mantike. Unfortunately, Ben is out of office at the moment, so I'm gonna do this myself. Hopefully we can deliver. Oliver. That's for Oliver Cox out of the comments below. Uh. Who actually has a lovely bit of information about Gillen. I was unsure whether or not Gillen was weak to things. I said, Gillen is only weak to fire. It's four times weak, but it's the only weakness. Good to know. So really just uh, stay away from the fire with Gillen there, right? And now we can just basically fly. I think, I mean, we don't have to go really anywhere, right? I mean, yes, yeah. We can just, I think we can just fly all the way. Maybe we should go to Cinnabar first to see if we need to talk to Blue. Um, Cause he was here last time and he was like, show me the badges. And then maybe it may, then he'll go return back to uh, Kanto or, or Viridian City or whatever. Let's see. If you want to battle me for real, come to the Viridian gym. I'll be waiting for you. All right, sure. What did the sign say? The ravaged town of the past. Did someone like, did the volcano go off and then someone came and installed this sign that said the ravaged town? That seems so mean. Anyway, Kimberly for the Wimberly, if you could give us a Flyberly back to Viridian City. Lee, yeah, we're just crushing it right here. We are uh, crushing it, let's see. Let's see, so we are Basically, the big challenge with Blue, of course, is that he was the champion, so he has like a well-rounded team, but that's like uh, already a problem, isn't it? Uh, like every trainer we fight is well-rounded in the Nuzlocke. Oh goodness, hi there. Yo, Legend of the Megan, the floor here is unstable, so you should put away your Pokemon now. The gym leader is a guy who battled the champion three years ago. He's no pushover. Give it everything you've got. Battled the champion. This guy can't even say was the champion <laughs> three years ago. Certainly other people have battled the champion since then, right? I mean, come on. Uh, anyway. Anyways, let's see, who should we throw out front? Maybe, maybe we go with Gillen, you know, if we've got such, if we've got such resistance to everything. Watch this first guy have like a Charizard or something. Um, let's see, so we probably want to do some of the fights. Uh, yeah, let's go. Whoop. Here we go, we're so close. A Probo Pass! Okay, okay, all right. Bring it on, dude. Let's go. Let's see, this guy should be, is he part steel as well? Does it evolve into part steel? I think maybe it does. And then it would be steel rock. Let's find out. Let's go Metal Claw. If not, then it's just, oh, Sandstorm. What a waste of a turn because I also thrive in the sand as a fellow steel type. Let's just go for the X's and see how that does. Does basically, not, basically nothing. Oh, whoa. Okay, so the power gem did more than I would like. That's for sure. So what we're gonna do, maybe, since we are actually faster, 
We're gonna throw up a quick iron defense here. Oh, it's gonna rest it off? Fine by me, dude. I can just get health back as well. I'm gonna iron defense up again. You got nothing. Let's go full steel. Yeah, all right, and we just heal back. So now we are way super defensive. And now we can start actually working on maybe some attack boosts, right? Power gem, that's gonna do no What, how did it do? Is power gem a special attack? Man, what a waste. What a waste on our part. That is my bad, y'all. That is my bad. Um, Metal Claw. Sandstorm again. We heal. Metal Claw. I want the attack boost, and then he does this. Okay. It's not really a huge problem just yet. We are going to get attack boosts eventually on this, right? We have to. We could just stall. We got tons of metal claws. You're still asleep? No bigs. No bigs. All you can do is rest. You cannot kill us. There's the attack boost. Yeah, so now we will do more damage. Still asleep? No big deal. We're about back to full health. So yes, with the crit. Gillen crushing it. We stand in the face of giant nose. We destroy giant nose. Dragonite. Okay, so. I mean, it's a good Pokemon to be sure. Let's be clear about that. Obviously, we've got Markle on the team. It's not, this Dragonite doesn't look like, you know, like a, like a Megan caliber or anything. We have an attack boost from Metal Claw. We have six plus on the Iron Defense. The question is whether or not this thing will have special attacks. Let's go X Scissor on this thing, go in Safeguard. Not gonna matter. Oh, not that effective. Jeez, okay, let's go. Is it, does it resist? Oh, because it's part flying. Duh, should have known that. Um, let's go Night Slash here. Aqua Tail, oh boy. That's a physical attack though. Yeah, it does nothing because we have so much iron defense built up. And now we Night Slash. Yeah, it does nothing. I guess it could make us flinch, but no. Look at that. Gillen locked and loaded. Marco to 31 on the Dragonite defeat. Wow, Arabella. Nice fight. Nice fight. Is this guy, was that guy's name Arabella? Is that? Okay, whatever. Um, Let's see. Be weeby here. Doesn't look like we can step off these in any way that won't lead us to, oh, oh, sorry. This, this I think is where we need to go, right? Um, boom. Yeah, now we're further in. How do I get to that girl down there is the question. I think I can just do this. Zoop, 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 zoop. Yeah, there she is. Oh no, that didn't work. Oh man, okay, sorry. I should have seen that coming. Go here. Because I thought I was going to stop right there. So how do we... Oh, we can just go right here. Zorp across. There it is. <laughs> what do you think? You, uh, you've never seen such a wonderful gym before, have you? I like how Blue takes over for Boss Rocket and then immediately uses all the warp pads that are so prevalent at the first Rocket hideout. Gillen! You got this. Steel fighting? Should be okay here, but we'll be even more okay if we send out Kimberly. Because then we'll just, yeah, close combat. Nothing! Kimberly eats close combats for breakfast and then she flies high. Oh, Swords Dance, that's scary. So if we hope. Oh no, we missed! Dragon. <gasps> it has Dragon Pulse. I do not like that one bit. No, I do not. And it has Swords Dance. Now it did. Oh boy. How do we miss the fly? That's terrible. That is not good. Um, oh boy. Now, the thing is, Swords Dance isn't helping the Dragon Pulse, right? Because, um, it's not a, it's not a physical attack. Let's do this. Let's do this. I'm gonna heal up here real quick. Dragon Pulse again. It's not doing enough, so we're gonna fly. It's gonna Swords Dance again, so if we miss again, we are in trouble. Oh my gosh, what's happening? Why do we keep missing? No! Oh my god. Oh my gosh. That close combat though, is so strong. It's so strong. Oh, yikes. Oh, yikes. Okay. 
Oh my gosh. That thing's... All we need to do is touch it at all, and it will die. But the question is, we just need to be able to get off one attack. We've missed twice on fly. It's Dragon Pulse. That's not scary. Okay. Okay. Kimberly, what is happening? What is happening? Why are you losing so... Why are you losing the focus? That's got to do it. Yeah. Because it lost so much... Gosh, that was insane. I was like, I was freaking out. That was so scary. We were down to four HP. I cannot believe it. Kimberly is having some insane, insane survivals here. We use fly. We rain death from the sky. That Ludicolo is dead. My gosh, the number of Ludicolos we've had in the last few episodes in Sanity. I'm gonna I'm gonna go buy more potions, y'all. Oh, Dialga's like, ha ha ha, did you like that? Did you like that, Lucario? Cause yeah, I the answer is I did not. No, let's get some max potions here. Yeah, there you go. Full restores. Yeah, let's get a few more of those too. Why not? You know, that's always good. Always good. Um, yeah, okay. That's gonna do it. Thank you. Thank you for your stuff. Thank you for your stuff. We'll get some net balls. These have been handy in the past. Yeah, we don't need that heal ball. That's dumb. What a pointless item. Oh, it'll be healed as soon as you catch it. Great. I can, I, it mostly it gets into the Pokemon Center anyway. I'll go heal him here. Oh my gosh, that Lucario scared the butt off of me, you guys. Look at this. Blue is in charge. Oh, I was going to say. he's <laughs> Look, he, he cleared the path so you could walk here. You don't have to walk around anymore. But move the ledge back. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. All right, let's see. So we need to go here. And then not that we can go here. And then not there, here. And then, okay, that one goes that way. That one goes there, here. Okay, we're doing good. Uh, bah, bah, that one to bring us back. That one to send us way down. Um, let's see. This one will just send us in a circle if we go up. This one will send us... Yeah, this one. Okay. Fantastic. And then... I, you cannot see all the way down there. But... Every direction here will just send us back to the square, right? If we go down, right back to the square. If we go... This might send us all the way... This looks like it's going to send us up to another trainer way up there, right? Oh, it's a double battle! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. Oh, man, I was not expecting that. That is a surprise double battle. Oh, boy. Who's in second position? I think it's Kimberly. Bronzong and Tyranitar. Okay, so we get the double Intimidate. That's a very good start. Okay, uh, Tyrant to up Sandstream, actually, somehow, Intimidate cuts you both down. That's good. That's good. Okay, we are not in a terrible position, except we are a little bit afraid of that Tyranitar, because it could use Rock-type attacks against um, Kimberly, which is not good. So what we're going to do is X-Scissor on the T-Tar, and we're going to fly so we can avoid any Rock-type attacks. Or maybe we should just crunch. No, crunch isn't going to do anything. We're going to fly. I think fly is the right move here. Just to just to dodge. And we're going to try and hit the Tyranitar. That is definitely our main problem. Okay. Kimberly flies high. We x the T-Tar. Kimberly avoided the attack. Uh-oh. Well, we should resist because of the bug. Let's see how Gillen takes this attack. They're like a champion. Look at that. It actually utilized Levitate and, and Earthquake. Wow, that's impressive. Kimberly's buffeted even up in the sky. And now I'm confident Fly will knock out the Tyranitar, so I'm going to x the Bronzong. Yeah, there we go. And that should do a lot of damage because it's weak to bug. Whew, Tyranitar Bronzong. What a what a combo. Mark Little 32! And the x -Scissor. Oh, Wow, that did not do as much damage as I thought it would do. Fortunately, we can just continue to X-Scissor and we can crunch on this thing. We should be pretty solid, I think. X-Scissor, boom, boom, double slam, double dead. Well done, Gillen and Kimberly. 
unstoppable duo. Okay, so if I, okay, so we need to look at what we need to do here. If we, we're gonna get sent back down to where that guy's standing, basically, right? If we go to the red, it's gonna send us zip, zap, it's gonna send us, uh, yeah, it's gonna send us right to the platform in front of that guy. And that's really our only option. We must be sent there. I guess not, we could go right here. And then if we come all the way up, we can, we can go on the far right red and that can do it. We may as well grab the extra experience though, so let's just do it. Yeah, okay. Oh man, it does just send you right into the fight. So it's a little dangerous to be sure. Azel, well, 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 the other lake guardian. I see how it is. Well, I'm not afraid. You know why? Because we X scissor. Nasty plot. I'm a little more afraid. It already has pretty high special attack, but it's dead. It can't handle Gillen's X scissor. Gillen's wrecking this gym. Markle is getting. Oh, it's got a guard shot. Oh, yikes. Um... Okay. Okay, it shouldn't have. We should be okay. It can have Fire Fang, but our, let's see. Um, it won't, because Plant doesn't. Um, and we would have definitely learned that. Uh, so it won't have any, we should be good. We can Iron Defense if we want. It doesn't really matter because, we'll, let's go x -Scissor. Oh, it's digging. Okay, well, that's no big deal, right? Because we can just do this. We're gonna switch to Kimberly. We're gonna dodge the dig. And we cut its attack, which is nice. So even though it wasn't there, it was. It could tell. It was like, oh my God, what was that? Was that a dragon cry up there? That's terrifying. Um, I assume we're faster now, but oh gosh, the real damage, the real danger here is Actually, that we're also dragon type. So it can hit us with dragon type attacks, and that could be dangerous. I think I'm gonna switch back to Gillen. Dragon Claw, yeah. Doesn't do anything. We heal it off. So we really just got an Intimidate off, which is nice. Um, I think it's gonna go for the dig again. So what I'm gonna do is go Iron Defense. Yeah, it did. It went for the dig. We went Iron Defense. No big deal. So we heal up. We have big defense, and now it's gonna come in for the dig, it will not do much damage. Uh, and then we'll x it. Because it has an Intimidate, and we resist. Yeah, yeah. Bam! Yes, unstoppable. So it's probably gonna do it again, I guess, right? Yeah, and we're just gonna Iron Defense, take advantage of the dig. It'll do even less damage this time, and we will uh, x it one more time. Bam, yep. And we'll just rinse repeat. It's gonna dig. We'll iron defense. We are at maximum defense now. This thing is doing nothing. We X scissor. We win scissor. It's dead. Well done. Gillen takes another foe to the grave. Uh, Aqua Tail. We got a move. Let's see. Well, see, we already have Surf, right? Aqua Tail. This is a physical move. And Markle is gonna be a special attacker. So we're actually, we don't even want Aqua Tail on this team. Forget that's a Palkia level move. That's a, that's a, it's a garbage move as far as I can tell. Um, so yeah, we've already got Surf. We've already got a better water type attack on the team. With more accuracy. So sorry, Aqua Tail. Uh, give up on Aqua Tail. Yep. We don't want it. We don't need it. We don't like it. It's ugly. Uh, so we're going to go right here. Bup, 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 bup. And I think... Let's see. Gion's looking pretty strong. gion has been leading us through the gym really well, to be sure. Um, but this is blue we are gonna be fighting, and blue is good. Blue is gonna have the strongest Pokemon we have fought in the game thus far, and that is a level 60 ace. So that's 11 levels higher than ice. You know what I mean? So that's that's not great. And we have Markle on the team here who, so like, you know, Markle's not doing a whole lot for us just at the moment. Um, man, it's possible we should shift out Markle for something else just for the sake of the gym battle just for safety reasons right oh man that's that's true but you gotta believe 
Ace brought us, Marco, for a reason. You know, like we could get Ace out of the box for the gym battle, but what does that say about our faith? I don't know. Not as much as it could. Let's see. Do we have, um... What was, what just happened? We have a rare candy. I think Ice has earned a rare candy. Boom, level 50. It's done. It's too late. If you were thinking I should have saved that, doesn't matter. We did it. Ice is level 50. The whole team is in the 50s now. Took some time, man. Ice was wrecking people the other day. Still. Still, this is where we're at. So, who should we lead with? Our best leads tend to be Rutana and or Kimberly, just because we can U-turn out or because of the Intimidate. Um... Let's also not take any chances whatso whatsoever. Let's use the like our tiny little potions here. Yeah, I mean, we don't, this is probably just a waste of big potion, but there we go. We're up to level, we're, we're completely full health. I think I am gonna lead with Kimberly. I think we're going to lead with Kimberly so we can throw the Intimidate on whatever's out there. Dragon hits everything strong. Um, between uh, Gillen is a really fantastic addition in other ways, too, because it's a um, steel type. And if Gillen's only weak to fire, then we have good answers to fire in Kimberly and Plant and Ice and Markle. So there's that. Um, and Gillen is a really good answer to Ice types because Steel is good against Ice. So... <clears throat> I feel good about that. Um, I think that's how we're gonna do this fight. This is about to be the strongest trainer we have fought in the game thus far. Let's go! Big Blue, there he is. Peaches, as he is sometimes known. Yo, finally got here, huh? I wasn't in the mood at Cinnabar, but now I'm ready to battle you. You're telling me you conquered all the gyms at Jodo? <laughs> I am the Johto champion. As it were. Johto's gyms are pathetic. I agree, they weren't as good as you guys. To be sure. But I am the champion, technically, right? Of Johto. You're not a champion. You were a champion. Challenge by Lita Blue. All right. Oh, look what he leads with. Right away. Right away he goes for Big Man, though. At least, man, how many times in this run have I been fearful of the Mammoth Swad. We're gonna switch to Gillen right away here. He's going miss. I don't even know what that does. Um, I think it's probably good to go for an Iron Defense. Yeah, he's gonna go Earthquake. Yeah, we're going Iron Defense there. We heal some back. That did not, so we will be able to take it better the next time around because of the Iron Defense. And we got the leftovers, so I don't think that's gonna be able to take us down. We're gonna go Metal Claw on this guy. He's gonna go Earthquake. Please don't crit. Please don't crit, we should be good. Wow, taking it like a champion. Now I'm a little, a little could no, we should still be good. Well, let's just be extremely cautious. Wow, my emo just popped up in front of the screen. That was not cool. We don't want to lose Gillen. We're just going to heal up here. This earthquake does nothing. Yeah, we heal it off. Yeah, okay, we were fine. Now we metal claw, it goes earthquake again. Did we miss? Oh my gosh, come on, dude. Oh, no! We missed! We missed! No! Gillen! No! No, 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 no! That was our answer to ice types, and it, it... Oh, dear. Oh, dear. This is bad. That was bad. Freaking peaches. No! Am I, how long have I waited to have a... a Scyther line member and it's no it got the crit we were so good we were so set we missed the metal claw no I can't believe that just happened that is terrible we have to bring in Rutana oh my gosh no that's so painful we had that we were set up Gillen going miss what does miss do does it make you lower your accuracy? Oh, he is about to freaking... Okay, we're going to have Future Sight because he's going to full restore. We're going to set up on this dude. We kept Future Sight. Let's see if it was worth it. Takedown? Nothing. We laugh at you. Oh, wow. The crit again, though. 
I cannot believe this guy and his crits. What is happening? Does Mist increase your critical hit chances here? Hit yourself, fool. There's the future sight attack. Oh my gosh, is he gonna have another one is the question. He's gonna take down. Oh. Gillen. I am floored. I'm floored. I can't believe that just happened. And no! Whoa, way to throw literal salt in the wound. You, that is the dirtiest trick I've oh, seen. Stopped. And we've been Celebrate fighting Palky this listen. whole game. Okay, lava plume, forget it. I set up with defense, you went for offense. Wow, wow, what I am. I am shocked at the lowness of that move. I, I, I mean, I thought lowly of peaches, but I didn't know how low. I didn't know how low. Another Garchomp. Another one. I, do you believe this nonsense? This garbage. Just, just embarrassing play on his part. Just disrespectful in every sense of the word. We're gonna have to intimidate this thing. He goes for the dig. That's fine with me. It's definitely gonna miss, and we're definitely gonna be faster. We go. X speed. What does Dire Hit do? Raises the critical hit ratio of Pokemon in a battle. Prevents stat reduction. I have half a mind to do it. We can't hit him this turn anyway. And he's gonna miss us. We can go X speed. I'm going for it. Dire hit. This guy getting pumped. We go Dragon Claw. Oh, a critical hit! Whoops! <laughs> How does it feel? So mad on my scissor. Oh, Spinda. Oh, oh, it's a little teddy bear. Oh, no. Rip its freaking fluff out, dude. Kimberly, get in there. Destroy that. It's gonna thrash. It's gonna thrash? You gonna thrash, bro? Dragon Claw. You're dead. You're dead. Forget it. It's over. He still has his ace, whatever it is. What if his ace is still <laughs> the Pidgey Eye? It'd be so fitting, because that's like one of Blue's actual ace Pokemon. Um, this thing. We're gonna full restore. We're gonna be safe against this guy. Dark Pulse? Okay. No big deal. Now we crunch. Super effective. One shot, one kill. What's the ace? Bring it. Watch it be the Pidgeot. Wouldn't it? It'd be amazing. It'd be amazing. Shaman. Oh, he has a mythical. Unprepared for this. Worry, see, what does that do? Acquired insomnia? That mean I can't rest? Are you afraid of me resting? You've got weird attacks on your shaman. Gone. Gone! One shot, one kill. Was it a crit? No, I don't even think so. Marco! I cannot believe knocked out Gillen. I am so, so mad about it. Finally got something from the Scyther line. This is what happens. I was using it appropriately. I was set up. I was, this was my plan. Ice type Pokemon? No problem. Bring in. I was I resisted the ground attacks. I was higher defense. I was using stab moves. That was just such a fluke. Ah. Uh, what do you give me? Is it earthquake? Is it something good? What's the attack? 
I don't even know. I'm so mad. Trick room. Great. You're the actual worst, dude. Get me out of your dumb gym. Kill me, Gillen. I'm so mad at you, dude. Professor Oak. Oh, hello, this is Professor Oak. <laughs> you don't have to say anything. I know better than anyone else how hard you're working. I thought I should get you a present or something in appreciation. Well, I picked something up, but completely forgot to give it to you. <laughs> uh, you don't have to wonder about it at all. I know it's something that will be very helpful to you. You should just come here and pick it up. I'll be waiting for you at my laboratory in Pilot Town. All right, thanks. Thanks for giving me an errand to run. Oh, now, now what? Oh boy, hold on. We're gonna have to, we're getting some Dialga glitchiness here. They haven't reared their heads in person for a while. It makes me very nervous, but hold on, I'm gonna have to restart. All right, and we're back. Uh, all right, first things first. We have to say goodbye to Gillen. This is the worst Gillen who, who so quickly flew up through the ranks to join the team, who did so well on the team. Ah, uh, PC. Hey, look at all these these imposters in the god box. Uh, this is uh, this is unfortunate. Get out of the god box, you non-gods. Especially you. <clears throat> okay. Ace, bad things have happened. Bad things. You trusted me. And we protected Marco, but other bad things have happened. So first of all, we have to go to party Pokemon here. <sighs> oh my gosh. Sis Gillen, I can't even tell you how many Nuzlocks I've played and how long I've waited to have a member of the Scyther line on my team. You did so good. You slayed so many foes. You wrecked most of that gym. And you should have been fighting against that Mammoth Swine. Little did we know the... the how low Peaches would stoop. Not only killing my Scizor, but sending out his own in response. Like, the, the absolute ugh, that guy. It was great while it lasted, friend. You are amazing. Until next time. Farewell. Oh, it hurts. It hurts, it hurts, it hurts. question is now who do we bring on i mean we could go i it was so nice having a steel type right we we of course have mclean we have cheese if we want even more dragons and you know i love dragons you know we've got most of the team is dragons at this point 50 percent anyway we don't have any other do we have any other steel types in here at all? I don't think we do though. They're hard to come by and very, very good when you have them. But alas, we do not. I think I'm actually who I'm leaning towards might be Kabutops. Um, just because, well, one, I feel like Kabutops has some real Scyther vibes you know, what with the scythes for arms. It feels like the spiritual success successor to Gillen. It's also level 50, which saves us a lot of grinding time, which is very nice. Um, we don't have a water type on the team. We don't have a rock type on the team. So that's good. Those are both, um, let's, let's, uh, let's get a quick summary. Mega Drain, look, it has a grass type attack. <laughs> what do you know? It has slash, so you know. Not the best. Strongly defiant. Okay, horseshoe crab. Um, Aqua Jet, let's see. We have really high attack, really low special attack. So actually, even though it has Mega Drain, it's not very useful. Slash is probably very good. And a horrible sound. Reduce the foe's special defense. So those two, I mean, you could lower their special defense to make up for your low special attack, but Still, I think we gotta get rid of Mega Drain. Either way, Aqua Jet's pretty solid. It's not, well, it's a very useful move, 
and that it's priority, but it's not very strong. So we need, okay, I think, yeah, let's, let's bring Lord Vanilla onto the team at the moment. It'd be great. I mean, I would, I would love an Electivire as well, but we can't really evolve. We have Rotom, that's Electric Ghost, that's cool. We also have the Force. Let's not forget about the Force. Lots of good options. I feel like the appropriate choice is Lord Vanilla. For the moment, let's see. Let's see if we can get it any, what kind of TM support do we have for it on the team already? In the box, oh my gosh, so annoyed. Bullet Seed, uh, Giga Drain again. Silver Wind, that's a bug time move. It hurts. Um, poison jab. Oh, poison jab. Unable. Bummer. Okay. Rock slide. Ooh, there we go. Actually, though. Actually, actually, though. Yeah, that's pretty solid because we are a rock type and it's a physical attack and it's very strong. Um, yeah, I think that might be a pretty good option, actually. Let's go ahead and do it. Yeah, let's give it rock slide. Um, we're gonna get rid of metal sound, I think. <clears throat> There's also the potential for, like, surf, but that's a special attack. Um, you know what? Waterfall is not a bad option. <clears throat> it is 80 power water physical. That's pretty solid, because we're a really strong physical attacker. I might go with Waterfall, because we might need it anyway. Um, and then we'll have a, a better water attack and a rock attack. Um, that's pretty solid. I like that. I like that. Yeah. And I don't know what else. I think Focus Punch. That'd be funny. I think we're going to go for it. Waterfall. Yep. Yeah, I was going to say, assuming he can. Let's see. Uh, I think Mega Drain. It's just not very good. It's not going to do any damage. It's like, we don't have a Grass-type attack, but Slash is better. Just regular. Well. Yeah, we're going to get rid of Mega Drain. I know we already have Aqua. Aqua just just good priority. Okay, Waterfall. Okay, guys, I think that's where we're going to um, stop it for the day. Please leave your condolences for Gillen in the towel section. Down. Actually, you know what? Actually, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna fly down and get our gift from Professor Oak, whatever that happens to be, right? I don't know. Oh, good to see you. This is what I've wanted to give you. It's HMO8. Oh, great. It contains the hidden move Rock Climb. I can head up. Yeah, great. Well, you've not only become the Johto champion, but you've collected all the Kanto badges. Well done! Huh, no wonder I sent something in you when we met. I'll make arrangements so that you can go to Mount Silver. It's a big mountain that is home to many wild Pokemon. It's too dangerous for your average trainer, so it's off limits. But we can make an exception in your case, Jay. Go to the Pokemon League reception gate. You can reach Mount Silver from there. All right. Well, I don't. I think we do have to fight the Elite Four again. Um. <clears throat> We're certainly not ready for red. I can tell you that, but I, it sounds like maybe we can just already go up there and try and face him. We definitely aren't ready though. Like we are way under leveled for that. We would really need to, uh, I think you fight the elite four again as well. I will need to like figure out what we do next. But anyway, thank you so much uh, for watching today's video. Please leave your condolences for Gillen in the towel section down below. I cannot believe that happened. I am so mad at the Mammoth Swan. We've been afraid of it the whole game. And finally, when we prepared for it, it still killed us. <sighs> It's very frustrating. But don't forget to leave a like on the video if you haven't already. Subscribe so you don't miss any future nose like action from us. And until next time, bye. Hey, before we go, just want to give a shout out to all of our amazing patrons over on Patreon. Abby, Mondin, Adrian, Shishitano, Afropunk, Annalena, 
Ort, Brad Johnson, Brianna Bouchard, Cheyenne, Dakota Valentine, Dana Guess, Eduardo Bravo, Emerald Phoenix, Gamer Zylia, Gregory Lee, Jacob Rosh, Jade Culture, James Buzanel, Joanna Ashcroft, Karen Choi, The Very Not Lazy, Lacey Nielsen, Lauren Alexandra, Luxpa92, Madison Wolf, Mats Frulis, Momo East, Nicole Cox, Rachel Pierce, Rashiba, Romy Osterheld, Stacy, Yale Ezer, Zane Emerson, and Zero Four Twelve. Thank you all so much for your support on Patreon. If you would like to uh, see your name on the wall of things right here, you can head over to patreon.com slash supercarlingaming. Thanks again. Spork.